HTML5 Tutorials for Beginners Image element, figure element, fig caption That's what we're going to do now Let's continue working And within the header portion of our web page Let's place an image We do that by using the image tag itself We can, we can give the source and let me give the path of that image file and as we know it's smart for us to create folder structure so that we group certain file types logically now at this moment i can say you know what i can give width in pixels let's say 300 pixels and height as well if i want let's say 300 pixels for that too i can give alt alternative text to that image by saying that's logo and as we know html5 is semantically more meaningful and alt attributes are absolutely important we can also give title and perhaps say things like shows our logo because we have to think of people who are interacting with our web pages and some of the visitors may be relying on assistive technologies let's imagine a blind citizen looking at a web page they can't see the image but when you provide the alt attribute and a title attribute then they can read that through their assistive technology devices and then they can perhaps hear it and then understand what that page contains and then what that image is all about and let's close that we can do forward slash and close that image tag let me save this document let me refresh the page and voila that's our image tag while here let me do this let's remove 300 and make it 30 pixels let's refresh and modern browsers are smart enough to render things as we tell them now because we're learning HTML5 let's do this let's wrap that image tag within figure element and let's close our figure element let's save this document refresh that's our figure element now it's actually smart to wrap image tags within figure elements because of HTML5 now within the figure element we can also say fig caption by describing the image itself close the fig caption let's refresh so that's how we use image tags figure elements and let me actually copy all this and go into the article section and paste that there delete this and open up properties and then if you're using Dreamweaver I'm going to show you a trick you can hover over this element and then point it to the image file and then the source will be updated automatically this image shows okay let's first refresh Okay, we haven't saved it let's save the file and okay, let's do this let's say search box
let's save the document let's refresh the page and now we've got the image within figure element and also fig caption further describing the figure element what's within it as well so this is how we utilize figure element image tags and fig captions and i'll talk with you in the next video session